Thank you very much. It's very nice to be here uh, with Milk Carton Kids. My name's Joey. This one is Kenneth. And, uh, you know, we, we played a show uh, with Lyle Lovett before in Texas a couple years ago. So we were thrilled uh, at, the, at this invite because it, it means that we, we did okay last time. <laughs> you know, we don't usually get performance reviews uh, in our job, at least not from our colleagues, but to be invited back and this time to, to an even more important market. Which is something we say everywhere. But anyway, we're, we're, we're a band kind of on the rise. And it's on account of our, our last album. We're, you know, when we made our last album, we had gotten kind of sick and tired of being pigeonholed as like a niche folk band. And we wanted to reach a broader audience, frankly, a younger demographic. That's why we're here. <laughs> We looked around at some of our other peers and colleagues like Mumford and Sons and Avett Brothers that played these massive audiences and we said we want what they've got. And we realized the difference in what they've got is the banjo. And ever since we added claw hammer style banjo to our recordings and shows, our stock has risen rapidly. And this has been by far our most commercially successful release. As a matter of fact, the song we're about to play is the first song on that album, and on the album it's not even a banjo song. There's only two banjo songs on the album, but when we would play them live, after we'd get done and I would put the banjo down, the audience would start chanting and clapping, banjo, more banjo, more banjo. So we arranged a whole other song for the banjo, just for you kids. <laughs>
table with that bill. Thank you very much. And, and you know, one the main thing I learned actually when I started writing songs on the banjo is that uh, I don't know if there's any banjo players out there, any songwriters out there, but it is very difficult to write a song on the banjo without killing somebody in the song. <laughs> One person is raising their hand, but you were raising your hand before I got to the end, so I think you were just going to agree with whatever I said. Yeah, it, it, you know, it's a tradition. Murder ballads run deep in this sort of, once that sound comes out of this instrument, I, actually this next song was supposed to be a love song. I got to the third verse and I realized, oh, this person's going to die. <laughs> You know, it doesn't have to be murder ballad every time. It could be any kind of unfortunate death, untimely, <laughs> accidental. They all work. They all work. <laughs> 